are talking about the coronavirus, COVID-19, the Delta variant, all of that, and how that affects us here in El Paso. Dr. Alozi, the current treatments out there, what's, what's the latest and greatest when it comes to treating those who do contract COVID end up in the hospital? Yeah, absolutely. I think that we had a sort of blessing in our community that we were one of the places in the United States that did really well at using what's called the monoclonal antibodies. Now there are a host of other antibodies. I think if you do get sick, Talk to your primary care doctor, go to an emergency room, have that conversation about, hey, am I a candidate to get this monoclonal antibody? Because it's been shown to actually reduce hospitalizations and death. Once you're in the hospital, it's usually dexamethasone, a steroid that's pretty cheap. There's a host of other medications that are out there, but what we really want to do is prevent you from ever getting into the hospital. The best way to do that is get vaccinated. I know we were saying that, yeah, that was the point, is that even when people get vaccinated, yeah, I mean, you can still contract it, you still might be able to possibly spread it, but you're just not going to end up in the hospital, you're not going to die from it. How are the hospital numbers looking in El Paso, from what you know? Yeah, if we look at our peak back in November, I think we're down more than 90% from there, and I think that's a testament to the vaccines. Going forward, it is expected, as dental variant continues to rise, that we may have an uptick. I don't want to call it a surge, because I have pray to God we never get back to those November numbers. But again, I think it's important that as more people that we get vaccinated, the more we protect the community. And I think the fall will look good in El Paso. Other places around the United States that you'll hear about in national news may be different. They have 30% vaccination, 40% vaccination. Those are the unfortunate communities that probably will be affected a lot more. I want to switch topics and talk about the flu. Uh, flu season is just around the corner too. Um, you mentioned the fall. Uh, we're not really wearing our masks for the most part anymore if we're vaccinated. So last, last year, we didn't really see a lot of instances of flu because everyone had their masks. They were protected. Uh, we were six feet apart. We were home. Um, how are we looking? Can you tell are there forecasts for this flu season? Yeah, there are a host of models and forecasts, right? And the thing about it is that anybody can create a model or a forecast. We had some models last year that actually said the flu season would also be intense around COVID. That didn't come to bear any fruit, thankfully. I think as we get back to some semblance of normal, and some people will continue to wear masks just because they don't want to get the flu as well. Some people will not. And so my ex every expectation is that in the fall we'll have an uptick of flu. Hopefully it won't be as bad as it was two, three years ago. But I think our flu numbers will return. And that's why it's important not just to talk about COVID vaccinations, but some of the vaccinations that we do regularly, minus the COVID world. And so influenza vaccinations for those that are in the healthcare, that are young and old are also very important. Yeah, do you think that now that we've gotten, there's a lot of people have gotten used to the masks, uh, would you recommend, hey, keep one on if you don't want to catch the flu, does it help that much? You know, I've had a lot of um, intense arguments or debates with my colleagues, not just friends, but physician colleagues. And again, I think this is going to depend on individuals, right? I know a lot of physicians that plan, hey, I didn't get sick last year and I wore a mask and they're going to continue to wear a mask. As an infectious disease guy, I did get COVID. I've been vaccinated and I always got the influenza shot. I don't plan to wear a mask any more than I need to when I'm in the hospital setting to protect my patients. So everybody's going to make that decision differently. And I don't think there's a right or wrong answer to that. What I, <coughs> excuse me. What I do think is important is for people to get vaccinated. All right, we got to sneak in one more quick commercial break. We're going to come back with some final thoughts. You're watching 9 on 9 here on KTSM 9 News.